Hi everyone, my name is Belle Brockhoff, I'm 21 years old and I am a snowboarder from Australia, down under. The event I do is border cross and for those who don't know what border cross is, it's when we have heats of six girls racing down a course and we go down a bunch of rollers, obstacles, jumps, turns and we have to make it down to the finish line in the positions first, second and third and then they get to go to the next round. So it's a process of elimination. It's very fast, very dangerous, lots of fun. Um, it's a crowd pleaser event, but it's also a very expensive sport to do. So my seasons go for about four months, November to around March. And to give you an idea of how expensive the sport is, is that I spend about $40,000 in that one season. And it doesn't include the lead up in preparation for that season, nor does it include um, buying new gear or insurance or um, food costs. So it is very expensive, and I'm hoping um, through Dreamfuel I'm able to raise around five thousand dollars to help um, fund my sport. So my next main event is next season, next year, and it's World Championships. And World Championships happen every second year. So my main goal, my main big goal is to win. And then my smaller goal is to podium. And then my minimum goal and benchmark is to get top five. So there's a lot of work um, to do in preparation before that. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be working my ass off to get those results. I have just come back from the Winter Olympic Games in Sochi, Russia. It was an amazing experience. I did have a bit of bad luck during my event. I got clipped by another racer. And I mean, it's part of border cross. I mean, it's, it's a lottery, really. Um, and sometimes the best can't be the best. And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm the best. Um, I came eighth and I'm really happy. I rode my best and I had a lot of fun. So yeah, that's um, the Olympics is something I'll cherish for the rest of my life and I'm hoping to do at least three more Winter Olympic Games and hopefully get a medal through <laughs> at least one of them. So yeah, um, before the Games I came out to the world um, on national TV that I'm a gay athlete. I identify myself as gay and it was in protest of the anti-gay laws in Russia. So I've been working with Athlete Ally which is a non-profit organization and Principle 6. And Principle 6 is a campaign where we promote equality and we're trying to end anti-discrimination, um, particularly at the Sochi Games. But now that's over, we've been able to, we haven't been able to change the laws, but we've been able to um, create awareness on what's going on in Russia. And we're planning to continue on with Principle 6. So if you want to check it out, um, the BNE P6, go to their website, um, principle6.org. It's a great campaign. Um, yeah, so if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Um, you have the tiers and what you get for each donation. So yeah, I'm really excited. Thank you.